Hundreds of Americans, including a husband and wife from Michigan, remain stranded in Cambodia tonight over coronavirus concerns. Jason Colthorpe spoke with Steve Muth a short while ago uh, about the new roadblocks they're encountering, Jason. Yeah, Devin, they're worried that their names may have gotten out along with everyone else's on that ship, and that's why the airlines and other countries won't allow them to travel yet. But most of all, they feel their country now has failed them as they remain overseas for going on three weeks. Current situation is we're still waiting. Quite simply, Steve Muth and his wife from Onstead and another 600 plus Americans are in limbo. They're stuck in Cambodia where their cruise ship has docked. They've also been tested for coronavirus, which was not pleasant. We took tests two days ago. And by that, I mean um, actual tests for the coronavirus where they take a long Q-tip type uh, implement. It's about 10 inches long or so. Stick it into your nasal cavity to the point where you swear it's touching the bottom part of your brain. As far as he knows, they were all negative. He says the cruise line has been great. It's the American government that's let them down. The real story here is that our State Department has not really been helpful at all. And that includes the American ambassador to Cambodia, who they have not seen in their three days now at the hotel. But if I had 600 plus Americans in crisis, in transit, uh, trying to get home, I think I'd be here uh, probably once a day, maybe twice a day. Maybe I'd camp out here. Crazy, right? We're the biggest, strongest country in the world. And we've got embassy people who act like, you know, uh, that we're the problem. And that's really the challenge here. And you can hear the growing frustration in his voice when he talks about this, especially when you consider this. People have jobs, pets, homes they need to get back to. Steve's wife was actually supposed to go back to work today, guys, and he's actually concerned she might lose her job if oh they're there much goodness. longer. Yeah. My yeah. goodness. And I didn't realize how they tested for the coronavirus. That sounds very that, pleasant. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Um, does he have any idea when they can at least get a flight back? Or? He's hopeful 50-50 tomorrow, maybe 80% uh, the day after. But in talking to Dr. McGeorge about this, yeah. he said he would not be surprised if they get hit with a quarantine of another two weeks for people people like that, that they might want to keep yeah. there for a while, so it could go any which way. Must be measurable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and let's stay on this note, because about 340 American passengers from the Diamond Princess cruise ship are going to spend 14 days in quarantine at two military bases. 14 of those Americans have tested positive for the virus. Right now, we'll remind you that Michigan has no confirmed cases of coronavirus at this moment. The business impact, though, is rippling around the world. Jason, talking about the jobs impact of just one person, Apple says it's not going to meet its second quarter guidance because iPhone production has been cut in China. Worldwide, more than 71,000 people now have been infected, more than 1,700 deaths reported thus far.